Recall that function notation is written f of x, where this does not mean multiplication with the part that's in parentheses. It actually means a substitution where x is what's being substituted with a given value. We're not worried about that right now. We just need to be able to recognize that this is function notation and it does not mean multiplication. What is inside the function replaces the variable. So if we see in example one, we have f of x is equal to negative x squared plus two x minus five, and we want to find f of three, they're asking us to put three in wherever there was an x in the original equation. So there were two x's in the original function, and so we can take f of three is equal to plugging in the three for my x, and remembering to use parentheses because that will cause a lot of problems to disappear if you just remember those parentheses, we'll get negative nine plus six minus five. So f of three is equal to negative three minus five or negative eight. And in the second example, we see that we have the square root of two x plus five. Given they want us to substitute twenty in four x in our f of, or g of x function, we're going to rewrite this as g of twenty is equal to the square root of two times, I'm going to put my twenty in there, plus five. I find it helpful on occasion to just write the parentheses first and leave that empty space until the end and then substitute the value in. Now I'm going to evaluate my function g of twenty. This gives me forty plus five. Or g of twenty is equal to the square root of forty-five. Factoring forty-five, I get fifteen, divide fifteen by three and I get five, divide five by five and I get one. So these are my prime factors of forty-five. So I can rewrite g of twenty as three root five.